Everything is too expensive. They call it sticker shock. You take that item from the shelf, look at the price, and that price is more than you remember paying last year. Definitely, yes. A lot higher this year than last year. Unfortunately, inflation is that key item on the menu this Thanksgiving, forcing some shoppers to carve out new changes to the table on Thursday. Veal oh. instead of a turkey. Oh, do you do that every year? No. Oh. Why'd you do that this year? Turkey is too expensive. <laughs> Turkey's too expensive. Fresh turkey's $4 a pound. At Highland Park Market in Glastonbury, aisles are crowded with people looking for those last minute fixings and last minute deals. Uh, I got potatoes and stuffing, green beans, uh, squash, asparagus. The stores have been crazy anyway <laughs> right now this time of year. It's exciting because families are back together again, which is awesome. The high costs are something the market keeps in mind trying to make the big meal as affordable as possible for families. It's, it's been tough because we're trying to compete and do the best we can on pricing for people. So we're trying to do everything they can because they're having bigger Thanksgivings again this year. So we're trying to like do the best on sale items. That includes a sale on those favorite sides like cranberry sauce, rolls and green beans. Any type of value that we can do, we worked with the vendors to try to get that to pass that on to our customers this holiday season. For some shoppers, family time is worth whatever price is on that sticker. I'm kind of rolling with it. I'm figuring it's once a year, so trying to make it still special. It's very hard. It's very, very difficult and it's challenging, but um, we're all in it together and hopefully we'll figure it all out. The good news is those items and Thanksgiving sides aren't as hard to come by as they were in 2020 and 2021. And if you are heading out to the stores the last minute, make sure you pack your patience because stores are crowded and workers are working as hard and as fast as they can. In Glastonbury, Lindsay Kane, Fox 61 News.